Hey everyone, Fighting Hyde. Mid letter, Mega Knight. I can't tell you how much Mega Knight is existing in mid letter today. So much so that I thought it would be a smart idea to do a video on how to counter Mega Knight. And I'm going to show you some cool little tricks, some little tips you can do to misdirect it, take it around the world, or even take it to the King Tower. I'm running Goblin Drill, Wall Breakers um, with Golden Knight and Bandit. Um, I like this deck because it's off meta. I hate playing on meta decks, so I only play off meta decks. And however, I like to have fun, so I play random combinations. And Goblin Drill Wall Break is actually quite popular, but the other cards I put around it aren't. So um, let's see. I'm going to jump in. So my opponent is running Mega Knight Mini P.E.K.K.A. Prince with Firecracker, um, Free Spirit, and then he's got, let's see. Oh, he's got Hunter and Lightning. That was the other stuff. Okay. So... I'm always going to start off with Drill if I have it in Cycle, just to see what my opponent has. Nine times out of ten, he's running Valk or um, running Dark Prince. Drill is very, very hard in meta today because unless you have Drill Wall Breakers or something else to go in the opposite lane, it's very hard if they have Valk and you have nothing to do it, to counter it. Um, in this case, if I have Drill in hand, I'm always going to start off with a Drill just to see what my opponent my opponent drops, always interesting to see. It's nothing wrong with just trying to figure out for the first like 20, 30, 40 seconds, maybe even a minute. Just try and figure out what your opponent has. Force him to play something, at least so you can see what's going on. So at this point, my opponent played Mini P.E.K.K.A., Prince, and Hunter, and Log, but he, I, I didn't know he had Mega Knight until I obviously saw him drop it. Now, in this case, you want to avoid the Mega Knight jumping. That's the one tip I will give you right off the bat. Don't drop your card like in a situation where he's going to immediately jump. Drop him one or two tiles off so this way you can force him to walk up to it. Now, some things that you want to know. You can easily direct a Mega Knight all the way to the King Tower by just carefully placing your spirits or your small elixir cards two rows apart until you get them all the way there. And you'll see, he'll make the jumps each time. So again, uh, I'm going in with my Golden Knight. I love doing Drill in the back and Golden Knight ability activated because you have to make them choose. Are they going to defend the Golden Knight coming down the lane with the ability activated or are they going to go to the Drill? A lot of times it will actually pay off. So just as a side tip, it might be more interesting. Give it a try. I love Royal Delivery, so you're going to see that in every single deck I play. All right, here, he makes a mistake. He drops the Mega Knight behind the Hunter. I don't know what his expectation was there, even though... Uh, he dropped the Hunter, and the Mega Knight kills my, my Bandit. Look at how I used the Wall Breakers to misdirect the Mega Knight to the middle. He could not do anything at that point. Here, I'm going to use NATO just to pull all this to the center. I'll use Royal Delivery to drop on that to kill all that off. And I'll take my Bandit out to kill the Prince. He drops his Hunter again. Um, that's fine, you know. Always use your wall breakers as a defensive as well as an offensive. There's absolutely no reason not to use your wall breakers to redirect something across the map. Always drop both of them on one side or the other. I mean, if you want to split wall breakers as your very first play, that's fine too. Um, here, he does a lightning. I don't know. That lightning wasn't really a, a good lightning. I don't know why he played that lightning. It, he had no chance of connecting the Mega Knight to the tower. So all he got was lightning damage. Here, he logs. That's another thing. <laughs> When you're playing Drill Wall Breakers, so many people log, and if you don't log with some kind of spirit, it's not going to help. And he BM me at the end with the Princess, <laughs> Princess Yon, that's funny. Um, anyways, again, Mega Knight, avoid the jumping. Always try and use your Wall Breakers or something small elixir to misdirect him. Wall Breakers are great for that because he'll just follow him across the map. Or drop your cards in, a pr in the order all the way to the King Tower. Again, I hope you enjoy this. Mega Knight is rampant in mid -ladder. Fight those Mega Knight players. Counter them. Make them want to play something else. Catch you on the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.